Well, Akshita, one, uh, the situation of one woman, she's about 40 years old, is a bit concerning. However, doctors have clarified that she is out of danger, but she has suffered 40% burn injuries and she will be undergoing plastic surgery, is what we heard from the doctor who is directly treating her. And we also learned that there are three people who have suffered huge damages to their eardrum because, uh, uh, be, you know, because they were very proximal to the exact spot where the blast occurred. They were just eating just around that spot where the IED exploded. So three of them, one is Mr. Farooq Kusai Deepanshu and the other one is Swaranamta Narayanapa. All of them are software employees is what we are learning. Uh, uh, so out of, you know, out of the three, two of them are completely out of danger. They just have some trauma that they are getting treated. But, the, you know, but one woman, Swaranamta Narayanapa, she is a bit critical, Akshita. She has suffered a lot of burn injuries. Her husband is also inside. You know, some of us also spoke to him. The situation is a bit concerning but all of us here are truly hoping that she comes out of the concerning zone as quick as possible. So it's an area, Rameshwaram Cafe, it's there across Bengaluru. The one in Whitefield is particularly popular among the IT going crowd. Whitefield is where you have all your mega IT companies based and at lunchtime many of them would have taken a break from work, headed over to Rameshwaram Cafe for a bite. That's when this blast took place. So many of the victims right now, those who are injured, are IT employees who stepped out for a moment to grab a bite only to get this shock, only for this kind of trauma to hit them off an IED blast taking place in the heart of the city. A lot of updates that have come in on the story, including footage also of the incident itself that shows you the kind of panic that broke out soon after the blast that rocked the Rameshwaram Cafe in Bengaluru.